Hey everyone, Graham from Boost Performance here. This is going to be a quick video to go over our different e-tuning types that we offer, as well as different priority levels. I'm going to explain each one of these tune types, as well as the different priority levels, to help you guys figure out what makes the most sense. The purpose of these different tune types and priority levels is to try to better suit everybody's needs. Some people are in a big rush to get their tune done. Some people want to do very customized tuning. The whole purpose of this is to try to provide better options for everybody and better turnaround times depending on what your needs are. All right, so what are our different tuning types? First of all, we'll start with what we call our flash and go. Flash and go tune is designed to be something where you flash the map, you test it, and you are good to go as long as everything looks normal. When we send those tunes out, it's a specific tune built for your year, your model, your fuel type, and the mods you have on your car. They're designed to be a safe tune that should work on your combination of parts as long as your fuel quality is decent and everything's mechanically sound on your car. We give you some guidelines to understand what's normal to see in the tune in terms of knock, fuel correction, things like that. Our flash and go tunes are a bit like an off-the-shelf tune, except that off-the-shelf tunes are more of a one-size-fits-all and very rigid with the modifications. Our tunes are more customized to your specific mods, meaning if you have a downpipe on your car, an intake on your car, an intercooler, we account for those things in the tune and we make sure that it's safe for your car. Our flash and go tunes are also quite a bit more polished and generally have more power and more smoothness than a typical off-the-shelf tune. So these are a fantastic option for simple modifications if you have just an intake on your car, maybe an intake and a downpipe. Flash and Go can be a fantastic upgraded tune for your car without having to worry about doing logs for us. The next type of tuning option is called our Flash and Check. The idea behind this is we start with a Flash and Go map, but we have you take data logs that we review. We make sure that everything looks normal and we typically do some small touch-ups to the tune. We don't necessarily try to really increase the power. We're going to be using our safe Flash and Go style. Boost curves, fuel curves, timing curves everything for your car, but we're going to polish it up a little bit and make it just a little bit more perfect than our flash and go to. We're also going to be able to look at that log, give you the peace of mind that everything looks normal, everything looks safe, or let you know if it doesn't. This option can be great for people who like the idea of a flash and go, but want to at least have it looked at once and maybe refined a little bit. That's where we're going to offer the flash and check map. That should be a great fit for you guys. The third option is our custom tuning. Custom tuning starts off with a base map, which is essentially very similar, if not exactly the same, as a flash and go map, except that we're going to go through a number of revisions. We are going to make adjustments to the boost curves, fuel curves, timing curves, and try to find the most power we can for your car. We're also going to take your feedback. We can do more customizations to the tune, such as throttle response, different, uh, different aspects of drivability that you might like differently than our flash and go maps, and really customize that tune to your liking, to your car, to your local fuel quality. This option is going to be better for people who are really looking for the most they can get out of a setup. Especially if you've done things like an upgraded turbocharger, a high amount of customized bolt-on modifications, you're more likely to benefit from our custom tune and get the extra power you're probably looking for. That said, we can certainly do those as a flash and go, a flash and check, and keep everything safe but the custom tune is gonna be ideal for people really looking to get the most power out of their car while still making sure that it's safe. Now, with those tune types explained, not every tune type is available for every setup. There are more complicated setups that we can't do as a flash and go that we really are gonna to have to do at least a flash and check, review some logs, make sure things are good. And some more complex setups are gonna work as custom only just because of the nature of high modifications. It's not possible to necessarily create a tune that's gonna be good to go from the beginning. The flash and go and the flash and check are typically for newer vehicles, simple modifications, things that we've done hundreds of with similar combinations of parts that we know is just going to work. The next thing is our priority levels. All of our tunes start off with a standard priority. Standard priority simply means that we will review your data logs and update your tune in the order at which you respond back to us. We use a ticketing system to keep everything organized so that when you reply, it goes into your ticket and keeps all the communication organized for you. We work those cues from oldest to newest as we go. Standard priority turnaround time depends on our volume of work that we have and depends on the time of the year. Best case scenario, it can be one to two weeks. 
Worst case scenario, in very busy times of the year, it can be three to four weeks before we have a chance to get back to your ticket. This is simply due to having hundreds of customers that we're trying to manage at the same time. On top of that, we have dyno tuning obligations, remote tuning obligations, as well as trackside support and racing. So that makes it a little difficult to always keep up on e-tuning in a super fast nature, but for a lot of people, that kind of turnaround time is perfectly fine. That turnaround time also pairs well with our flash and check. Again, those maps are designed to be very straightforward, very safe for your car, something you can flash on your car, use immediately, and then wait for us to check. If you are ever having issues with your tune, you are able to use our tech support line to get in touch with us quickly and deal with that. Now, if our standard turnaround time doesn't work for you, our next level of service is called rushed priority. Rushed priority simply puts you into a different queue in our ticketing system that we try to check at least on a weekly base. That means every five business days, we try to at least get through and look at each ticket, review logs and make updates. When we're not quite as busy, it can be as little as one to two days. And there's even situations where we might turn around a ticket several times in a day when we're not as busy. The rush queue, again, that's fantastic for people who have a upcoming track event, let's say, or they're taking a road trip with their car, or you simply are just in a hurry to get your, get your logs checked or do your custom tune process a little quicker. Our final type of priority is called scheduled priority. Scheduled priority is almost like a dyno tune where you actually contact us and we set up a window of time that you go out and do back-to-back -back logs and back-to-back -back updates from us. This works well with a Wi-Fi hotspot and a laptop in your car so that there's no time having to go back home and send logs. You simply need to go out and find a very safe place where you can do controlled third gear acceleration runs and you'll do your logging for us. You'll send it to me, send me a text to let me know you've sent it. I send an update, you flash that, you log that and back and forth we go. A lot of times we can get your tuning completely done in one shot in an hour to maybe two hours at the most. If for some reason we run into some snags, we'll give you a second window of time that we can finish up. So scheduled priority is great for those people who want to get your tune done right now as if you were on the dyno, but don't have access to come work with us on the dyno. Now we only offer scheduled priority on our custom tunes. There's really no benefit and no need to schedule a flash and check. That's something that we can do very easily and don't really need to pay the extra money to schedule. If you do want to rush your flash and check, you can do that. Likewise, there's no need to rush a flash and go to. Flash and go tune with standard priority is all you would need because it's just a tune and you're ready to enjoy it, no logs needed. So as a quick recap, three types of tuning that we offer, flash and go, no logs needed, put it on your car, enjoy it. Flash and check, flash it on your car, take data logs, have those checked, have a small touch up done if needed and you're good to go. Customized tuning, that's gonna be a process where we really dial in the car above and beyond what we consider to be our safe and powerful starting point for a tune. We're gonna find the most power we can for you safely. Three priority levels, standard, we turn it around in two to four weeks. Rushed, we turn it around in about a week or less. And scheduled, we schedule a time to get your tune done all in one shot. Hopefully that all makes sense for you guys and hopefully that provides some better options for you guys looking for different levels of support anywhere from just flash it and enjoy it to fully customized scheduled dyno tune is available now with us. Thanks for watching this video and also thank you for considering us for your tuning needs. If you guys have questions or concerns, leave them in the comments of this video and I'll do my best to answer them. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you want to see some more content. We're certainly going to have some more videos coming around our e-tuning process.